what up people welcome back to the channel today's video is about finalizing our four days of awesome coding we just looked at the flutter block in this block pattern series of videos i'm this video is more importantly along the sides of understanding how important flutter block is designing a flutter application is it the only way to design application or is there any other ways to design much better applications always in this video let's go all right to start with the idea of the flutter block is to more importantly create this reactive type of programming where user clicks are actually responded with a reaction and the reactive type of programming is not exactly how we have been trained in programming over the last 10 years where we have everything is about how we even though it at the at the base it's all about reaction to every event it is also more more about creating things and letting the user know about these things there is not there hasn't been any way where the user does something and we react to that it is always been what we do and the user reacts to that so it it, it is a different paradigm of programming and flutter has done a very good job with integrating it with the block pattern so block pattern is nothing importantly uh, it, it it isn't any different from lot of other architectures that are available primarily mvc which is nothing but model view controller that we have done a video on that if you want to check that out you can check it out right in top corner so it is a different paradigm of programming and bringing that to flutter is a very good job but as you as you are seen in this five four days of video where we designed a basic application with something as simple as the just the set state method set state methods and stateful widgets we designed a food ordering application then we did was we moved this food ordering application to something which is a, which is actually the flutter block the flutter block library gave us a lot of useful things like the block builder the block provider and more importantly we learned about the events and states so the one thing that we could derive out of this was that there is a dependency on lot of code to be written even though there isn't a dependency on usability or the maintenance of this code you definitely have to write a lot of boilerplate code for any application to work we had only two screens the first screen is the home screen and the second was the checkout widget screen but still we had to write close to 7 to 8 different files which is which was four files for uh, one widget uh, which is going to hold the block logic so totally eight different files and eight different type of uh, reactions we had different type of events we had different type of states and we had to react from one event to another so the question is uh, is it all important uh, to design an application which is going to increase the complexity of coding the answer is that uh, you you are not actually increasing the complexity of coding but we are actually decreasing the complexity on the maintenance of this code now you you can just concentrate on just concentrating on the ui part if you want to concentrate and if you want to concentrate on the back end part you can still concentrate on that without touching the ui so it removes it it depend the it decouples the ui from the back end and that is very very important in maintaining an application the idea that the flutter is going to be a fast programming language meaning that you don't have to worry about a lot of important things like scaling we not we are not even looking at that because flutter is taking care of all of that in the background by itself it it scales to different ui sizes it scales to different pixels it scales to different screen sizes all of that is done by the flutter itself so you are not worrying about that you are all worry ab- worrying about is this code structure that makes us makes our life very very easier the uh, we, if you are in a fast developing agile developing teams where you have to develop applications in a very very rapid pace say in the time of 3 to 4 weeks you can definitely bank upon a language like flutter and the flutter block logic to make sure that you can design an application that is in the even though it might take some time to finish up this boilerplate code it definitely does use is is going to be useful when you're just maintaining this code on the other hand if you want to look at other patterns that are available there is a provider pattern that is available and there is actually rx dart which is from where block flutter block comes from but there is also this concept of sync and source uh, which we learned about in the first day of this flutter block series so all of that can be put together and we can just look at flutter block as a very very important paradigm changing type programming type uh, and which is going to make sure that our flutter application is very very usable and maintainable in the future so the answer short answer is yes you do need to make sure that you have to write a lot of boilerplate code for flutter block but it is all worth it if you want to make sure that you do not want to go into that and you are okay with maintaining an application and if you are just you just looking at prototyping applications in just i say 
three to four days of time then you can definitely go in and just prototype with the flutter language itself and make sure that you don't uh, you are not going to it's, it's, if it's just going to be a prototype you can definitely do that and it is not going to it is not re- restrictive as well so that is there isn't any nobody going to uh, hold it on your throat and ask why did you, you not use flutter block so all of that in the picture and that is what i wanted to take away from this video series i hope this series is informative if you are not understanding what i'm talking about do not go forget to check out the last four days where we've been developing super awesome food ordering application in just the flutter language using the block pattern all right so let me take leave from today's video i'll be making up coming up with some super short and uh, useful video series in the future and uh, i would want to make sure that you guys like my channel and also subscribe so that you get notified whenever i releasing these video series and uh, uh, hopefully connect with you guys and talk a lot more of flutter and other programming languages let me meet you in the coming upcoming videos until then it's bharat peace out have a great day